this business is called Tire Fix It and it sells one product at this point. The product is a product for consumers that for some reason or another are not strong enough to be able to go through the whole tire uh, repair process out in the side of the road someplace. It's aimed primarily at women. Um, not for any other reason than women tend to be less mechanically inclined than men with exceptions. But the, uh, the business itself is um, for anybody that chooses to have a backup plan when they're out on the road. This is a diagram of the sales funnel. Um, as you can see on the left, we have the website, which has two paths from that. The one on the left is the non-organic, and that goes to uh, various types of ads, such as pay-per-click and display advertising. The organic one goes to search engine optimization, which um, optimizes the website to be found out on the internet. Um, also, word of mouth and and the blog um, that comes out once a month will also uh, get the attention of customers and get them hopefully to the website. On the right you've got the social media plant platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube and then there's some advertising going to be done through Facebook. Um, those also lead <coughs> excuse me, to the landing page uh, where there are and there's calls to action along the way um, to get you from one point to the other. Um, from the landing page, the call to action there is to sign up for discounted deals on the product or discounts for buying two of them to give one as a, as a gift um, or to have a, one for a second car. Um, then there's also, um, by doing that, you get a welcome email and uh, the customer either purchases or doesn't purchase. If they purchase, uh, the company donates uh, a portion of that purchase to uh, World Vision that uh, helps children around the world in impoverished countries. Um, if the customer doesn't buy, they receive their first um, email with a, a discount and so on to the point where they either purchase or unsubscribe. This is the, the top portion of the front page of the website. And this is the part that you'll see first. Uh, the rest of it is below the fold, so you have to scroll down to see uh, most of the rest of it. But as you see on the right, this has a, uh, an opt-in box where customers can sign up for a newsletter and to be a, a, a part of the communications of this business. This shows the details of the product. There's a case. Uh, there is a leak. There is a leak detector solution that you can look for nails or a uh, piece of metal or glass or whatever happens. Whatever you can see that's embedded in the tire, and squirt this on that and see if bubbles come out, and that will let you know whether there is an active leak going on. Then there are some. There are three syringes with needles on them that. Um, these are not medical syringes, but um, cannot be used that way um, for drugs or anything, so there's no issue there. They're more like a basketball type needle uh, for inflating um, basketballs. But there's three of those in case you were to break one or to need it more than once. Uh, then there's a can of uh, compressed air to in reinflate the tire. Uh, this below, Going down below, here's a section on who we are, and there's some some background information about the company and some of the things that we do. The next section is the contact area. It's got information on the company up here. And then right below here is our first blog post. Blogs will come out, blog posts will come out once a month. But here's the first one. If they click on that, it goes to the actual post and where they can, uh, where they can read the first article. From here it proceeds down the page, there's a place to subscribe, another button for contact, um, there is an email address, and there's also icons um, at the very top and, and down here as well for Facebook and Twitter, and um, also YouTube, um, 
couldn't get it couldn't get one on to go on this page so that's why there isn't one here but next is the social media we start out with Facebook and this is what our page looks like again it's got a frustrated woman sitting by the side of her car she's tried to take the tire off and hasn't been able to not that she could probably do something out there in the middle of the road with it if there's not a gas station in sight, but um, maybe easier to work on that way. And she's calling for help. Um, this slide is a picture of our first Facebook ad. And again, our website, our phone number is all on here. And some text to create interest. Here is our Twitter page, and there's no post yet, but there will be. And again, company information so that they can click and get right to us or make a phone call. Here's our YouTube page, and we will create some, uh, some videos that will go on here, and we'll just keep adding to it as time goes on, uh, probably about once a month have little short videos on various topics of interest that are somehow related um, to or, or would be expected to be of interest to um, the users that would be on this site. This is a copy of the first email uh, that will go out and again at the bottom of it there's a, a button click to order there is the website link and a phone number and this is um, this is kind of the outline of the business so we thank you very much for watching and have a great day